always following me everywhere I go. I come to the room, here she come. I go to the room, there she go. Get off my dick! Actually on her little scratching mat. I've never actually seen her on it. Not in this house. My God. So Georgia met. <laughs> yeah, that's the first time I went to New Orleans. Yeah. They was like, oh, little, little Georgia May. I'm like, what does that mean? Georgia May Jr. <laughs> okay, so hey, you guys. Um, I just came by real, real, real quick, actually, to show you guys what I got from the semi-annual sale from Bath & Body Works. Normally, you guys know last year I went a little cray cray, um, but this year's a little different. Um, I'm trying to save money and just, you know, be smart about it, but still enjoy some of the things that I like to enjoy. Um, so... I'm not gonna do too much of a spill because I'm exhausted. I've been out all day. Um, so first thing I wanted to try, well actually, I like this scent. Um, it's called Golden Pineapple Luau. And this was $3.75. It's normally $13. Um, this smells so good, you guys. It smells so good. I have the hand soap by my um sink in my kitchen. Um, I also picked up the, because I really love a good body scrub. I got the white sand body scrub in the same scent. This was also $3.75, and this is normally $16.50. That's why I love me a senior annual sale boy. I didn't get any more um, wallflowers. I was looking for some scents, but I couldn't find it. And this is something new I haven't tried. It is the Foaming Shower Gel. This is normally $18.50 and this is also $3.75. It's, I can smell it so good. And Waikiki Beach Coconut. I can't wait to try this. I'm excited about the foaming um, shower gel. I think it'll be cute to give that a try. That is all I got you guys. And um, like I said, each of these items were $3.75 each. And my total um, with tax came out to, well my, um, my total discount was thirty six seventy five, and my total was twelve twenty six. Um, so yes, yeah. Okay, but yeah, that's it, you guys. I didn't buy too much. I didn't go crazy. I would have normally went a little bit more crazy, but I put a couple of um items back, and I was like, you know, I'm just gonna get three items and be cool. So I'm glad I stuck with these items because I do miss a good body scrub. Smells so good. This scent, Golden Pineapple Luau, is literally one of my favorite scents from there. So, if you guys get a chance to go to the um, semi-annual sale, go pick up some stuff, see what they like, see what you like. Um, it might even be three seventy-five because I was like, I have to get it now because I don't have it at all. But I had to get a body wash because I just ran out of one of my body washes this morning, and I was like, you know, I think I'm gonna get some stuff to wash. Cause I like to, I like to just, um, like do this thing where I wash my body normally, like, you know, my body washes and my soap and stuff. And then, um, I use the better body works last. So then it leaves that scent in my bathroom and also like on my body. And then I just like put on my lotion, perfume and body oil. And I have the scent on me like a long time. It lasts a really long time. But anyway, um, that is it, you guys. I hope you guys are having a good night. I'll talk to you later. This girl is following the Wii remote thing. She literally walked up to the TV because I was waiting for the video to play. She actually got in her bed. Wow. Mission accomplished. Just over here looking at her damn self. Paris, you gonna have to hear about the size of your bed when you get there. Paris. No girl. See, she pays me no mind. I tell y'all. Paris does not care about her mother. At all. Not even a little bit. But you guys, I hope you guys are having a good day. I had a wonderful day with my mom. She had surgery earlier this week, so, um, well, just like two days ago. And I really wanted to go see her today because when she had surgery, she was really groggy. Um, and she said she felt okay after surgery. Um, but I just wanted to make sure, you know, you know, I'm a mama, mama's girl. I'm, 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 a, I'm a mama's girl. I really, really, really am close with her mom. I love her. Like, it's... It's not even funny how much we're, we're close. So, 
of course I had to go out there. I brought her some like flowers and stuff and like um these from the uh chocolates from Trader Joe's and some earrings and stuff, just like a get well thinking about you package kind of thing. So she she always loves flowers and I would rather give them to her now. You know, it's kind of like a give me flowers while you're alive kind of thing, you know? But, yeah, I had so much fun with her. We went and did something we haven't done in a long time, which is um, we went to go look at a furniture store. We used to do it more um, often when I was younger and stuff like that. It was like one of our pastimes. Like, we just had a really good time. Um, we enjoyed looking at the furniture because, you know, she just moved into an apartment, so she got to get a new couch because the old one we had at the house broke. Um, because like it was sitting wrong and then my brother had sat on it and the, the little, uh, wheel, the wheel, the foot and a part of under the couch snapped. So it was sitting on top of like a brick. So when they moved, they got rid of it. So she really wants another couch. And of course I was just looking for ideas because, you know, I want a couch and when I can, I'll get one. But, you know, it's just nice to go out and talk to her and have fun and enjoy the day. We had so much, so much fun um, when I got back to her house. My knee and my head were killing me, like, so bad. So, 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 so bad. Um, I was blessed to make it home. I was just praying. I made the drive, which I did. Um, so I had got home and took something for my knee and my head. You guys, like, I told you guys a, a few years ago, I, I got arthritis in my knee and my lower back. And it was from falling at the gym. Um, and, you know, every once in a while now, my knee and my lower back will just kick my ass. Like, oh my God, it will feel like they are really trying to twist their stuff on my body. Like, it literally feels like my knee sometimes is trying to twist itself off my actual leg I'll be like oh my god can this just stop and when I tell the doctors about it they're like well we can't really do too much you know it's just the weather changing but I'm like I'm supposed to go through this every season look at this girl oh my god I'm trying to tell you a story she just really distracted me <laughs> but um yeah you guys I don't know I don't know but yeah I don't want you guys to keep looking at this is actually supposed to be a hairstyle um my friend told me to get some like curling stuff it was supposed to be curly but it looked like i cramped my hair and that's like tbt but anyway my nose keeps itching um so you guys wasn't just staring at paris the whole time while she licks a hairball into her stomach um but yeah pretty much every time i go to the doctor they just tell me there's nothing you can really do about it you just have to go through it and i'm just like girl but every season though bruh like every season hmm wow you know what i mean so i'll just be trying to get through it you know i just try my best to power through the day so to speak and uh <sighs> especially when the arthritis kicks in like Exhausted with arthritis, but Paris, stop that! Paris doesn't listen to me, and I try to get her to stop doing things like she'll bite herself. Um, she has this little scab on her foot, on her uh, bottom of her, yeah, of her foot. So she'll bite it really, really, really hard, and it'll be super raw. And I'm like, Paris, Jesus woman, stop doing it! Like, I don't know why animals self-inflict so much, so stop that girl um but yeah i don't know i think i was just talking or whatever but my eyes itching um and i don't want to put my hand in it oh my god but yeah just wanted to kind of keep you guys updated but my mom is doing better um i don't really like broadcast it on here or like facebook and stuff i just asked people to pray for my mom because she was having a surgery um so yeah I'm excited for my housewarming in about not this not next Saturday but the weekend sat the Saturday after. So about two weeks. Um but you know that means I am actually going to be on my last twenties. Like I'm gonna be twenty nine. <laughs> oh my god, you know what I hate when people do? I have put a status on Facebook, right? I'm not gonna say hey, I just like it a lot. 
Um, I have pit up. Oh, I can't believe it's been 11 years since I've been out of high school. It's crazy. Now, I don't do this to be like, oh, I've been out of high school the longest. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not like that. I'm just saying, you know, for me personally, 11 years went by really quickly, you know? And I had people kind of like defer from that and be like, well, wait till you get to your 30 years. Then you're going to feel really old. Like, I'm just like. But did nobody say nothing about 30? I was talking about 11. I know eventually if God say the same, I'll make it to that point in my life. And then when I get there, I'll know what you're talking about. But as of right now, I only know the 11-year struggle. Okay? Thanks. Like, I, could, I don't care if people be like, well, I've been out of high school, you know, 30 years. It does go by fast. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's almost like when people be like, well, wait till you get here. Like, I, I can wait, actually, because I don't want that time to fly by. I'm not exactly a big fan of how fast time is flying by. But if it would just slow down, that would be great. <laughs> but, yeah, I don't know. I kind of get annoyed people do that with anything, not just with, you know, high school stuff. Like, girl, <laughs> I don't know what you, I don't know your struggle, girl. I only know my struggle. Can I talk about mine for a second? You know? I don't know. You guys know what I mean, like, when people almost try to up you. Because, you know what I'm saying? They passed your point, you know? That's just like, I remember I seen this girl who graduated like two years ago. I was like, I cannot believe I've been out of high school two years. I was like, oh, damn, you only been out of high school two years. You know what I'm saying? And I didn't say nothing on the status, but, you know, that's just like me going to be like, wait till you get to 11 year mark, then you'll know. Like, why would I do that? Like, you know what I'm trying to say? Like, <coughs> for what, son? for what like why why though but yeah girl i don't know i call everybody girl i guess paris is sitting over there looking at me i don't know if you guys can see her she's finally sleeping in her bed i'm so proud of her i have like a proud for mom moment my little baby little baby <laughs> she's over <laughs> Yeah, so she's finally sleeping in her bed again. And oh my God, you guys, it's quite adorable. I ha I don't have her little carpet thing on the floor because you guys, these past couple days, I have been seeing spiders every freaking day. I literally saw two spiders yesterday, which I had to kill by myself, which is annoying because I don't like spiders. I don't want to go near them. I don't want to touch them. And I don't want to fucking see them. So I had to move her bed out the way and I accidentally got poison on her little scratcher thing. So I didn't want her to go over there and put her paws on it. And then later on lick her paws and I just be like, oh. so I have to wash it. So I put it up so she won't play with it um, until after it's clean. But yeah, I'm so tired of all these spiders, you guys. Like I was looking up online, like how can I stop spiders from coming into my house and stuff? But no me gusta. <laughs>